Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and a couple of days ago I uploaded this 3D keyboard transition animation on my Instagram page and a lot of you guys loved it and asked me how I did that. So I made this entire animation inside of After Effects only using the new 3D rendering engine that has come in the newer versions. And in this video I'm going to break down how I made that 3D keyboard animation. But first let's have a look at this new 3D rendering engine in After Effects. So I turn on After Effects and like I said this feature is available only in the newer versions of After Effects so if you are using any older version then you will have to update it and I am using this version 25.1 so it has this new feature let's see how to use this to demonstrate it I am going to use this video footage and we are going to add a 3D lighthouse over here and for that we need a 3D model and currently After Effects support these three formats GLB, GLTF and OBJ files so you can just simply search for any 3D model which is in these formats and for this example I'm going to use this 3D Lighthouse and shout out to Laura who made this and to download it we can just simply click on that and you can see it has given us all the formats so we can use either the GLTF or GLB format it's completely up to you just click on download and it will create the zip file and after that you can import the 3d model inside this so first let's begin by creating a new composition let's go to composition new comp and i'm going to use these settings but it's completely up to you you can use whatever you want the main setting that you have to change over here is if you go inside the 3d render we have this rendering option and i'm going to select the advanced 3d again this is not available in the old, older version so if you want to use this then you will have to have newer versions so after that just click on ok let me just quickly rename this to main and let's click on ok so here we have our composition and i'm going to drag my video file into this perfect now let's import our 3d model so right click import just click on file and here i have this 3d lighthouse so just click on the gltf file or glb or obj file whatever you have just select this click on import and after that it will import it inside your scene now we can easily drag it and add it to our timeline so inside this you don't want to change anything all you have to do is just click on make it comp size otherwise it will be very big just click on ok so here you can see we have this 3d model now we can select the move around tool and i can easily rotate around this and you can see that this is actual 3d we can also move it using these and we can rotate it however you want so if i press r you can see we can rotate it however we want it is actual 3d now in order to add it over here we have to do a 3d camera tracking and for that i'm going to quickly hide this let's select this and let's search for a 3d camera tracker let's drag it inside on top of this clip and after effects will analyze it and it will create the 3d points so now the tracking is done and after effects has given us these points and they are sticking to their respective position now in order to add the camera all we have to do is just select the points where you want to add the object so i'm going to select these points then right click click on create solid and camera now if i press play you can see that this is sticking to our location which is exactly what we want so once you have this we can enable our 3d model which is this one now we have to place this 3d model at this location where we have this 3d solid so in order to do that what you have to do is hold down the shift key and just simply click and pick this parent and drag it onto this solid now you can see that it will automatically snap it onto this location now we can uncheck this so set the parenting to none we can select this and let's press s to scale this up to make it a little bit big we don't want to see the back this solid so we can hide it now we can place it where we want to add this so somewhere around here you can use these handles now let's press r we can rotate it however we want so i want it to add like this so now our 3d model is dragged into our scene but still you can see it is not looking good because we still have to add some 3d lighting to this and for that we can use an hdri so you can go to polyhaven website and from here you can see we have a bunch of different hdris and you can pick the one that matches your surrounding and you can just simply select it and download the exr file and once you're done with this you can import it in after effects like this now in order to use this all you have to do is just drag it inside your composition like that now we don't actually have to see it so we can hide it for now now in order to use this as a light we have to create an environment light so for that right click new let's add a light and under the light type change it to environment rest of the things will remain same make sure that this option is checked and click on ok now we have added this environment light our next step is to make it use this hdri so for that under the source we have this default and let's just change it to use the hdri like that and right away you can see we are able to see some really good lighting 
and we can also change the angle of lighting by using the transform property so let's pick a point where you think it looks good you can use both the x and y rotation so as you can see that in our scene the light is coming from this direction and it is falling onto this so we can make it look like that so let's give it a nice angle like this so now you can see this side is bright and this is dark so which shows that light is coming from this location perfect so still you can see the lighting is good but we don't have any shadows in our scene and you can see it is looking very flat so in order to add the shadow after effects has this new feature as well now we can use any solid as a 3d shadow catcher so remember this tracking solid which we created so if i enable it you can see that it is still at this position and it is casting the shadow now i can increase its size like that so here you can see we have the shadow now we don't want to see the plane we only want to see the shadows so for that we can go inside this and let's go to material option we can see you can see we have this accept shadow option it is turned on so if i click again you can see it will turn to only now you can see we are able to see just the shadows not the plane now again if you are using the older versions you won't have this option you will have only on or off so make sure to change this to only now sometimes still you won't be able to see any shadows even after enabling the cast shadow and setting this to only mode and for that you can do one more thing you can go inside the rendering option over here and make sure to click on this fit to scene and then click on ok after that you will be able to see the lighting like this so now you can see that lighting is looking good and we have the shadows as well but still one more thing you will notice that if i zoom in you can see that this region is not looking good because this is very dark and this is extremely bright actually there will be a lot of shadows over here and this will be very dark so currently i don't know how to fix that you can either play with lighting or something but if you know then you can mention in the comments below but there is a play around that you can do or little hack that you can try so you can just simply select the pen tool and let's create a rough shape over here like this you don't have to be very precise let's create it like this and once you're done with this we can on top of this we can apply the Gaussian blur effect like that and make sure that this repeat edge pixel is unchecked now if I increase it and we can also change its blending mode to overlay so it will blend it very nicely and once we're done with this we can create a keyframe for path and let's add a keyframe now just add a keyframe move a little bit ahead just play a little bit like this you don't have to do it very precisely like that so here you can see we have added the shadow and it looks very nice as well now if you think that the shadow is too dark then you can select this environment light let's press a8 twice here we have the shadow darkness option now you can play around with its intensity you can lower it down however you want but for me i'm going to like keep it over here as well so this is how you can add some 3d models to your scene and you can composite them nicely using these techniques so let's see how i made that 3d keyboard animation in after effects so here we have this raw footage in which i am hitting this desk and then my camera moves up then it goes down and we have the original keyboard so while the camera was up i asked my sister to remove the box and replace it with the keyboard like this so my next step was to do a 3d camera track but since you can see there is a lot of motion blur in the scene so 3d camera tracking was not working and i was not able to track it but then i just manually animated the keyboard so here's the 3d model this one so if i enable it you can see that we have this 3d keyboard and as i'm hitting i just simply animated its you can see the keyframes i simply animated its position rotation and scale if i remove them we can easily do that so this is the beginning and we can start from zero scale and let's add keyframe for all of them and let's go to somewhere around here then all you have to do is just increase the scale and let's play around with the rotation just rotate it bunch of different types then let's go back to the last position and again let's rotate it like this then all you have to do is just match the last frame just play with the scale and a little bit of position like this and you can like match with the scale easily let's add like rotation as well so here you can see the rough animation 
and this is the exact same animation that i did and now to polish this i just like played with the easing and the curves to give it a really nice look and once it was done you can see we have our keyboard but still it is not fitting in our environment and again just like we did with this scene i added the hdri i used this indoor hdri and then added a uh, environment light but still the lighting was not looking good because you can see that the room is very pink but the color of this light was white so you can see it was like this so all i have to do is in order to match it just add a little bit of pink tone to this so now you can see it is matching nicely with our environment and at last i did some color grading to match it more nicely with the scene and that's it this is how i created this simple animation so this is how you can import your 3d models and animate them inside of after effects add some really nice lighting and that's it so if you enjoyed this content and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one okay.